All right, so um, have you ever wanted to figure out some mystery boxes on eBay? And you're like, is it worth the money or not? Um, so I did. I'm not. I'm not going to show you, you know, the addresses and everything and who it was came, came from. But um, if you want to know, let me know and uh, just uh, send me a message, uh, DM me, and I'll, and I'll share that with you. So um, this was like nine ninety nine or something like that. Uh, it's all vintage, supposedly baseball. I believe only baseball. Um, that could be more, but I don't remember, but I think it's just baseball. And, um, if you bought three of those nine ninety nines or something like that, um, you got, uh, a free, uh, not really free, but you got a 1987 tops, um, baseball wax pack thrown in, uh, into the mix. So I was like, well, I mean, it comes out to around, I think my final was like $23, so we'll have to see if $23, if I got $23 worth of cards. So I'm just going to take it out of the um, out of the picture for a second as I uh, cut it up. Probably can hear me struggling with this thing in the background. Just about ready here. All right. So off the top, you were gonna see uh, what kind of packs we were given with this. So, well, what does this say? Oh, look at that. Little reprint T two O six. That's interesting. Um, an extra free bonus included in this reprint of this most famous world, uh, Honus Wagner, famous reprint. So it was a bonus uh, piece there in a really old uh, top loader. <laughs> Talk about vintage. Uh, that's funny. Uh, I've got some just like this that are now in the garbage. So anyways, eh, interesting. We got a uh, 94 Baseball Series 2 Top Stadium Club. Hopefully they're not stuck together. We got a pack of... Um, what is this? 93 Stadium Club Series 1 Baseball. Uh, we got the ever-popular 91 Fleer Baseball Pack, which is brutal. As long, in addition, we've got this brutal pack, which uh, I believe this is, is this 90 or 89? Doesn't even say. That's really funny. I think it's 89, but I could be wrong. We got a pack of uh, tops traded from 91. Team USA cards are in here. Um, seven cards, seven picture cards. So we'll put that to the side here. We got a pack of uh, 80, I believe it's 88. Uh, cello pack of tops. Spring Fever Baseball. Pretty sure it's 88. We got a cello pack of 89, it looks like. Um, Tops Baseball. Uh, we got an 87 Tops uh, Baseball um, Wax Pack uh, with gum. Uh, so that's interesting. That's probably one of the better packs. I think it's 88 Donruss. Yeah, 88 Donruss. Uh, there's some decent cards in here. Uh, not great, but somewhat decent. I think that's 90, because I think this is 89 uh, Donruss Baseball. So it's possible I could pull a Griffey out of that. I think that's what that is. 90 Fleer. Uh, not one of my favorite uh, years of Fleer, but uh, there's there's a couple rookies in there that aren't too terrible. A pack of um, 91 Baseball. 91 Baseball Upper Deck. Hopefully those aren't stuck together. This is kind of nice. A 1990 edition. Uh, this is the high number series, however, of Upper Deck Baseball. 1990, uh, it is the high number edition. So it's not going to have uh, the the number of rookies that what you probably would hope for. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that to the side. Got a couple leaf packs here. You got a uh, Series 1. Um, 91, 91 series one leaf. And we also have a second 91 series 
two leaf. So we got a series two and a series one. That's interesting. Uh, line drive double A baseball cards are 1991. I don't even think I'm going to open these. I'll just sell them. Uh, you know, it's not something that I liked back then uh, when I was collecting. So um, I'll probably just move those on with a, a, a separate pack myself. An 89 uh, pack of, it's kind of beat up a little bit. It's maybe the gum right there. Uh, 89 pack of Bowen. Uh, it could be a Griffey Jr. in here. That'd be awesome. Uh, what else we got here? A Topps Big uh, baseball cards. I, I like these when they first came out. Um, second series. Um, we'll have to see if anything's in there or if they're, if they're stuck together. And here's some good old score. 92 uh, Major League Baseball score in the kind of cellophane wrap here. And a pack of uh, 1990 baseball score. Nothing fantastic. A um, couple of nice packs, though. A couple of nice packs. We also got um, a five Hall of Fame members. So we got five Hall of Fame member cards. We'll do this first. Uh, let's see here. My hands don't work very well today because I was up in the yard doing a bunch of stuff. So Craig Biggio, I think that's a rookie card. 89 Fleer. We got an, a... Uh, a Rod, uh, Upper Deck, September of 98. It's a checklist. <laughs> That's kind of a crappy way to throw in a Hall of Famer, but okay, it is a Hall of Famer. Uh, John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. I do not believe, no, it's not his rookie card. Wade Boggs. This is a uh, 92 Donruss card, and Roberto Alomar from 90 Donruss. Just a couple of years in there. So I would say the best card right there was probably the Craig Biggio rookie card. Uh, I have probably, I don't know, 20 of those already. But uh, that's okay. All right, let's start in here with the uh, 1991, 91? Yeah, 91 Leaf. 1991 Leaf. This is Series 2 first. You're going to see it has uh, like puzzle cards on it back then. Uh, Lance Johnson, Glenn Davis, Checklist, Mike Jackson, Chris Donalds, Steve Decker, Deion Sanders, Neon Deon. That's not a bad card. I like that. I'll put that to the side. Jamie Kirk, Greg Gagney, Rick Dempsey, Mike Flanagan, Marty Barrett, John Morris, Mike Stanton, and Steve Chitrin. Nothing uh, that was crazy there. Uh, the Dion is nice. The Dion Sanders is definitely nice. Uh, um, it could be. This could be the, his rookie card. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of major leagues on there as he went from the Sarasota Yankees all the way down to New York uh, American League, it looks like, in 1990, where he didn't bat very well, 158. So, but that's a nice card. Uh, football Hall of Famer. I mean, they got six Hall of Fame numbers. Here's the set, Series 1. Here's more puzzle pieces. Uh, let's see who we got here. Luis Polanco. Dan Gladden. Jeff King. Ramon Martinez. Probably back then, that was kind of a, a nice card. John Burkett. Hal Morris, one of my favorite Red players back in the day. Um, Terry Mulholland. Kent Merker. Spike Owen. Omar Vizquel, Mark McLemore, oh, Ozzie Smith, that's a that's a Hall of Famer right there. Nice Ozzie Smith card, Hector Villanueva, uh, Alondro Pena, and Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner had a couple of big seasons for the Mariners with some bunch of home runs. Uh, and you can see in 87 at Columbus, he had 31 home runs. So he could hit, he could hit some home runs. All right, we're moving on. We'll go to, uh, we'll go so to some of the other stuff here. We're going to go to the Topps Big Baseball Cards. This is Series 2. Not even sure what year it is from. Hopefully they're not stuck together. Hey, there's Wally, Wally World, Wally Joyner. Uh, it's interesting. It looks like it's got some stuff on it there. It's weird. Will Clark. 
Will the Thrill. Steve Bush, Bushel, Bushel, I can't remember how to say his name. I knew it probably back then. Jim Flaherty. Ah, Barry Larkin, that's a nice card. Hall of Famer right there. Reds Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin. I'm a Reds fan, so that, that is awesome. Tony Fernandez. He was great for the Blue Jays for a couple of seasons. And Bill Doran, probably a rookie season. Uh, nope, it's not. He looks like he's 12 there. Anyways, uh, not, not too bad. Uh, we picked up a, a Hall of Famer in Barry Larkin there. Let's go to, let's just take a walk on the wild side of here. And we're going to go 89... 89 Bauman. Here's your piece of gum. I will not eat that. Uh, 89 Bauman. That's interesting that there we have some that are kind of goofy backwards. All right. Here you start with the Whitey Ford card, which was actually, I think, a, a some kind of a entry, sweepstakes entry. So that's kind of funny. Uh, let's take a look here. I can feel the I can feel the the the, the uh, gum uh, residue on the back of these. Jody Davis, uh, Huey Brooks. He was really good back in the day. Eric Plant, I believe. Plunk, Plunk. I don't know who this is. Joe McGrain. I should know who that is. Ooh, there's Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. He's pretty good back in the day. Pretty good manager too. Astros. I think that's Larry. Larry Anderson. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Robinson, Rick Rhodes, don't know, Rick Giat, uh, Todd Benzinger, uh, Benzinger, nice, here we go, uh, this was, uh, that last one was uh, Brian Harvey, not that we care, but this is a card that we like, this is the uh, father-son, this is the uh, 89 Bauman uh, King Griffey Jr., not necessarily his rookie card, because it's kind of a father-son card um, and it actually is Ken Griffey's card uh, for the Cincinnati Reds however as you see Griffey Jr. is on it and so that card back then was pretty collectible um, I don't know I have no idea what the what the price on those now are like a dollar maybe two dollars I, I have no clue but uh, we did kind of pull a Griffey it just happened to be his dad with his son uh, on the uh, on the card itself all right, let's go, let's jump around. Let's do some 91 tops traded. Tops traded. Hopefully there's something decent here. Some type of rookie. That actually did something later on. Excuse me. We got Team USA, uh, Kenny Steenstra. I do not remember Kenny. Joe Carter, great player for the Blue Jays for many, many seasons. Glenn Allen Hill. Indians, Gary Gaiety to the Angels, Glenn Davis probably got traded uh, to the Orioles that year, Jason Giambi, Jason Giambi Team USA, I don't know, this may be worth something, uh, Jason Giambi had a pretty good career uh, for a long time, and you can see that it's really off center, but uh, I don't know, it could be a Dalai card, I'm going to put that aside, and Doug Platt, so Jason Giambi is uh, probably the best card by far out of that pack. Uh, but we had some really good baseball players in that back. Um, let's jump around here. I believe this is 89 tops. Several pack here. Let's take a look. Yeah, 89 tops. Juan Berenger, Phil Bradley, Bob Melvin, Rick Leach, uh, Mark Salas, Roger Craig, George Bell, good player in the day, uh, Claudel Washington, Bill Schroeder, Joel Youngblood, Jamie Moyer. Traber, Lee Smith, Lee Smith, Bobby Bonilla, a pack of gum. Thank goodness it wasn't uh, on any good player. A sweepstakes card or a t-shirt card or something. John Tudor, Al Nipper, uh, Ostres de Strade, checklist, Glenn Hubbard, Mike Campbell, Dave Winfield, good player back in his day, Pena, Norm Charlton. It yeah, might be Norm Charlton's rookie card for the Reds. Uh, Gary Varsho, Eric Plunk, Greg Cateret, 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 I don't know, Indians team card, Tigers team card, and Tom Bolton. Wah, wah. That was pretty bad. Uh, Silopak. 
Nothing there. All right, 88 solo pack. I believe this is 88. Yeah, I think so. Um, Ed Oline, Reed Nichols, Dave Steeb, Pat Pasio. Dave Steeb was a great pitcher for a long time. John Russell, Mike Young, Daryl Strawberry. Uh, not early enough to uh, really be worth anything, but man, he was a great player back in his day. Rance Mullins, Pat Sheridan for the Tigers, Greg Nettles, Bruce Hurst, uh, Howard Johnson, Andy Allison, Don Mattingly. There you go. Here's a Hall of Famer for you. Right in the back of the gum. But it looks pretty clean. Don Mattingly, 88 Don Mattingly. It's actually stuck. This one's stuck. We have some all-star cards. Willie Randolph, Louis Salazar, Cardinals team card, Steve Lombardozzi, Santiago all-star card, Dwayne Murphy, Phil Garner, uh, Guy Huffman, Jose Canseco. All right, not, not worth a whole lot. <laughs> Um, but again, uh, to the right collector, they would probably would love it. So I'll put that one aside. Brewers team card, Bobby Witt, Garth Eovory, Patrick Honeycutt, and Mike Lind. Nothing out of the extraordinary there. Uh, you get a good selection of cards in this uh, mystery box. I will say that. Now I bought three of them. Um, so that probably had something to do with it, but... Um, not so bad so far, really. I mean, we're not hitting any bangers or anything. Um, we're not hitting any, you know, rare rookie cards or anything. But we are, you know, we're doing, we're doing okay. I heard uh, somebody call these the, the ugliest cards ever made. So I, I, it's pretty close. John Franco, Chris Sabo. Chris Sabo is one of my favorite players of all time. That's going to be put away in my little stash over here. Tony Phillips, Steve Fry, Scott Bradley, Mark McGuire. Again, Bash Brothers coming up. This may go for a little bit more than it would normally. Uh, I think there's a Bash Brothers 30 for 30 special um, uh, on ESPN soon. Uh, Roger McDowell, Dave Smith, Ray Harris, Jeff Robinson, Shane Mack, Teddy Aguera, Randy O'Neill, Tom Edens, and you've got some stickers, some team logo stickers when they couldn't do Go Anywhere. I actually liked the stickers back in the day. So um, I, got a, I got a Sable and a, and a McGuire next up. We're going to take a look at this Donruss pack here. I'm going to really quickly take a peek at the year. This is 90. This is 90? Yeah, 90. 90, 90. Puzzle piece. Mike Balecki. Jamie Moyer. Dave McGadden. Jeff Musselman. Paul Molitor. Hall of Famer. Rafael Palmero. Great player. I don't recall if he's in the Hall of Fame or not, but he's a great player. That guy's got something white in his nose there. Andy, you have a little bit of whiteness on your nose there. I'm not sure what that means. Jeff Innes, Ron Karkabice, Jeff Robinson, Jeff Parrott, uh, Tom McGrave, Randy Johnson. It's a nice card. A little Randy Johnson action here. Uh, not very far into his career either. It's not his rookie card, but uh, it's early on. Greg Hibbard, Jose Alvarez, and Vance Law. So we got a decent uh, Randy Johnson card there. Uh, and Malter. Malter is a Hall of Famer. All right, let's uh, let's do the 90 Fleer. Because we just did 90 Donruss. Another sticker card here. If you're a White Sox fan, that's awesome. Old school throwback uh, White Sox. Don, uh, Don Robinson, Dave Bergman. Oh, I'm going to put that one aside for a, a special person in my life. Mike Morgan. She's a big fan of Dave Bergman. Uh, Craig Worthington, Worthington uh, Ken Caminiti, really good player. Don or uh, Dave Stewart, excuse me, really good player. Uh, Lee Gutterman, Darren Dalton, Charlie Huff, Knuckleballer, uh, Geronimo Baroa. Uh, you've got. Uh, League's Best Shortstops, Tony Fernandez and Cal Ripken Jr. I'll put that aside because it's a Ripken card. Ted Power, Jesse Orozco, and Joe Orsalak. Nothing against uh, Tony Fernandez. I already sang his praises earlier, so um, he's, a, he's a pretty good uh, baseball player. Next one up, we've got, uh, I think this is 89. 
Yeah. Oh, 88. 88. 88. No, no, it's not 89. Silly me. All right, Pedro Guerrero. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer with the Yankees. I'll put that one aside here. Marty Barrett. Kirk Gibson. Rob Deere. Larry Sheets. Randy Bush. Andy Van Slyke. Willie Upshaw. Lee Gutterman. Andre the Hawk Dawson. Robbie Thompson. Mike Diaz. Dave Palmer. And Kurt Stillwell. Nothing to set the world on fire in that pack. We got a Ricky Henderson. And that's not saying much. All right. Let's go with the... We're going to save the 87 tops for last. We're going to go with the um, 91 upper deck. And let's hope they're not stuck together. Uh, because they sometimes will stick together. Now these are good. Uh, Jim Acker. Carmelo Martinez. Glenn Allen Hill. Steve Finley. Had a good, good career. Ryan Sandberg. Rhino. It's a good card. I'll pull that one aside. Uh, Sean Abner. Andy Vance Lake had a great career for the, the Pirates. Vance Law. Rudy Sanez. Sainz. Sainz. Probably Sainz. Rudy Sainz. Mike Heath. Later on played for the Tigers, I believe. Kirk Dusendorf. Uh, is this Tony Fernandez? Tom Gordon. Not bad. Jim Presley. Mark Leonard. Ooh. Jim Clancy, and uh, a duplicate of Mike Heath in the same pack. That's <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. It just shows you how bad they are. Uh, let's do a 91 Stadium Club, or 93 Stadium Club. Let's do that. 93 Stadium Club. We're going to save a couple of the last packs. Now, these are probably stuck together, unfortunately. The glossy just didn't mix with the long-term... Uh, pieces here. Although these are, look, are not too bad. Jose Vizcaino, Vizcaino. These were the cards back when um, baseball cards uh, really started coming out. I loved Stadium Club. I love these cards. Brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, Dennis Powell. Carlos Hernandez. Uh, club champion. I could join... Yeah, back then you could join the Stadium Club Club membership, which I do have some of those. Omar Vizquel, Ron Gant, good player. So is Vizquel. Uh, Lenny Harris. Uh, there's one that's kind of stuck together. Ricky, Ricky Trilick. Mike Hartley. Oh, uh, here you go. Eric Caros, member's choice card. See how it's a little bit of a refractor there? And how it's different from the Pat Tabler next to it. The other refractor action, no refractor action. So I'm going to put this one aside. Eric Carroll's had a pretty good career as a Dodger. A long career, actually. Uh, good hitter. Really good hitter. Pat Tabler and Eric Anthony. Look at that picture. That's awesome. Photography is awesome. And I, I just love the photography. Oh, one stuck together there. And we have a Mark Gardner at the back. So we did get a, a member's choice, kind of a... An insert there of Eric Caros. I have no idea what those go for. Maybe a buck. That would be my guess. And if I am stretching that, I'm probably am. It's more like 50 cents. But I don't know that for a fact. All right. So we've got 94 Stadium Club, 88 Donruss, 87 Tops, and a high number um, 90 uh, Baseball. I'm just going to go with the high number here. We're going to do the high number because <clears throat> I don't remember a whole lot of good rookies coming in high number. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've opened any of these. So, Lynn Braggs, Dave Vallier, Dave Vallier, Luis Kino, Vance Law. We saw him earlier in a uh, A's uniform. Mike Kukro, Kukro, Randy Milligan. John Smoltz. Uh, it's an early one of John Smoltz. Yeah, it's pretty early. So we'll put that aside. Dennis Rasmussen. Yeah, there you go. If you're a giant fan, you gotta love the holograms that Upper Deck started putting in things. Ken Caminiti. 
Jeff Reed. We've got uh, Storm Davis. It's a great name. Uh, Mike Fetters. Uh, Rick Aguilera. Chris Hammond. It's rookie card. Chris just never really came around. Um, had a couple good seasons with uh, the Reds, and that was about it. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, that's not much of a rookie card. Brady Anderson, really good player there, but uh, not a Hall of Famer. All right, we are down to... Excuse me, I just got to drink a little quick. 94, 87, and 88. Let's do 94. This is Series 2. <clears throat> series 2. So, we still haven't hit, like, that good card. We've had some decent cards. We've had some decent players, that's for sure. Some Hall of Fame players, but nothing that's eye-popping. Maybe maybe the eye-popping card was my uh, Honus Wagner reprint. Yeah, these are pretty stuck together. All right, so we got Randy Johnson. Obviously, Hall of Famer. Not early enough in his career, I would say. No, but you know what? I'm going to put it aside because it's a Hall of Fame player. Another Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin. So we have Hall of Famers back-to-back. -back. I like that card. Obviously, with me being a uh, Reds fan. Jamie Moyer. Thomas Howard didn't spend much time in the Reds. Jerry DiPolito, or DiPoto. This is Major League debut. Omar Alvarez. Al Paul Wagner. Uh, we've got Tim Spire, Spear. Can't remember how to say his name. The Tale of Two Players. Info card 207. Wow. No thanks. Um, Mike Greenwell. Man, his cards were hot when he was a rookie. And then he just really didn't put it together long, long range. Chad Kruder, uh for the Tigers. Yeah, good. Good. Um, all right. I think we've got a, a gold possibly here. Is, this, is that what this is? Top Stadium Club. Darren Lewis. I think it's a refractor of some sort. Uh, we'll have to look that up. Uh, it's Darren Lewis, so not to not to you know if you're a Dan, Darren Lewis fan, <laughs> hit me up. But Darren didn't have a super long career in Ron Darling. But that is a different card. It's like a gold card or something because there is some refractor in it. If you can see that, yeah, it's a little different. All right, so I'll put that aside. I don't think it's worth hardly anything because Darren Lewis didn't have the great career. All right, we're going to go on 88 Donruss here. There's a couple good rookie cards in here. Um, let's see if we can hit one. We got our stickers. And again, socks. If you're a socks fan, whoo! Dennis Rasmussen, Rick Leach, Steve Balboni, Todd Royal. Calvin Shilderati, Shilderati, I'm not sure. I, I, I used to know how to say that. Bryn Smith, Brian Dorsett, Scott Sanderson, Dave LaPointe, Steve Sachs, Chris Basio, Charlie Paleo, Billy Ripken, the famous Billy Ripken. Let's look on his back. No, he's good. He's good. Bill Doran. And Bill Wilkinson. And that's full of wax on the back. Tons of wax on it. Bill Doran. Uh, really good player. But nothing there. Craig Biggio came along and kind of said, it's my turn. And went on to be a Hall of Famer. So, all right. We have 87 tops. This is our last pack. Um, I'll have to go through and figure out what's our best pack because I'm not really sure. So, hopefully, you can see that wax stain there on that Wade Rowden. This is another really expensive card, or a decent card. Oh, we got some, we got some gum stuck to uh, card number 747. Oh, and it's terrible. Look at that card. It must have got hot. A little <laughs> gross. Johnny Ray. Not that Johnny Ray was a great player, but... Uh, that's pretty much garbage. So we'll just keep on going this direction here. We got Mike Burbeck. Burke Beck. We've got Bobby Gritch, who is actually from my hometown originally. Or at least he was born there. Cubs leaders. That's Ron Say and uh, Trout, Steve Trout, I think. 
uh, Ed Vandenberg, mm -hmm. Brian Fisher, manager card, you'll love those, Pat Corrales, George Hendrick, special offer, sets of 10 glossy baseball cards. All right, here we go. We're down to our last few cards here. Tim Burke, Larry Herndon, Mike Kingery, Billy Hatcher, who led around and played for the Reds for a long time, uh, Rance Mullenix, Jamie Kakenauer, mm -hmm. Tony Phillips, who had a really good career, Mike Pagliarulo, Wow, and Raid Wade Rowden, who I don't actually remember as being a Red. So, and I'm a Reds fan. So, honestly, if I had to pick a best card out of this 87 pack, it's probably the Pags. To be honest, I mean, there's just not a whole lot there. Billy Hatcher's a good player. Um, Bobby Gritch, kind of, not really. All right, so. That is the end of it. Oh, nope. We have these two score. We might as well go ahead and open them. Two score. We have a 90 and a 92. I totally forgot about these sitting over here. You know, I'm going to save these for another video. I'm going to save these for another video. Uh, so we'll do 90 and 92 in our next video. That's what we'll do. Just make it a quicker video because this thing is getting beastly long. A little crazy. All right, so we got this uh, refractor of Darren Lewis, or whatever you want to call that, gold. Barry Larkin, Reds player. We got a Randy Johnson. We got an early John Smoltz, a little off-center there. We got an Eric Karros members uh, choice card. That's a nice card. We got a Rhino. It's pretty solid uh, in terms of uh, centering. It's not, not perfect, but it's not bad, not bad either. Ricky Henderson's got a little ding in it. We got a Cal Ripken and Tony Fernandez card. Oh, we got our famous Dave Bergman card there. Never mind. We have Randy Johnson. Honestly, that might be our best card. Uh, Paul, Mo Paul Molitor. Mark McGuire. If, if it was me, this is our best card. Chris Sabo. Um, Conseco, sorry. Maddenly. This is an interesting card that I probably just need to look up. It's not going to be worth a whole lot, but Jason Giambi, Team USA card. Later on, played with the Yankees, I believe. Uh, the, I think the A's as well. This is a nice card. Bauman 1989, Bauman Ken Griffey with Ken Griffey Jr. by his side. We got another Barry Larkin card, so that's good. We got an Ozzy Smith Leaf card. And... We end with Dion Neon Sanders. Excuse me, geez. So that'll do it. Um, did we get what we paid for? Yeah. Um, did we hit any cards? Not really. Um, but there's a good number of cards in there and packs in there for, you know, 20 some dollars. That wasn't that bad. Um, I probably, I don't know if I'd buy it again. To be honest, I probably would try a different one. Um, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Uh, I would give this like a a B, maybe a B minus. Um, and it's only because we didn't really hit anything uh, any decent rookie cards. Otherwise, and if we hit a couple eighty seven tops rookies or one, or you know we hit something else later on or earlier, um, yeah, maybe it's a better card. So, oh excuse me, whoa, <laughs> maybe we should edit that out. But it just shows you how um, how tired I am. So. All right, this is getting so long, um, but I, I appreciate you taking a look at it uh, and uh, figuring out whether or not you'd want to do a mystery box off of eBay yourself. So thanks, and have a good night. We'll talk to you later.